following program is sponsored by CBN. Well, welcome to this special edition of the 700 Club. Today we're going to be taking you all around the world to show you what CBN is doing, how CBN is preaching the gospel around the world, how CBN is helping people around the world. But we also want to show you tremendous stories of people who had tr unbelievable turnarounds in their life, all because they made a decision to say, I want to put God first. I want God first in my life. I want him first in my finances. I'm, uh, we're doing this in order to encourage you to let you know that there is a way. When you live life God's way, then incredible things will happen for you. Here's our first story. Joe was looking for a way to supplement his income. So he asked God for help. Well, that prayer turned into an idea, and that idea turned into a thriving business. Joe Brignolo loves spending time with his wife, Donna. As a business owner approaching retirement, he's always wanted to provide a life they can enjoy. My prayer was that God would give me a witty invention that would enable me to kind of like make a couple hundred bucks a week, you know, through my retirement, kind of hang out, have some fun. When the two married in 2003, Joe became a Christian and learned about tithing from Donna. Well, I thought it was ridiculous, to be quite blunt with you. I don't see why I should be giving my hard-earned money into some place where I don't know where it's going to go. And she informed me that it's not my money. And she showed me scriptures. I know the principle is, if you give, you know, you will receive. And I just think over time, he decided he would try it. But that's all God asks us to do. He even says, put me to the test. Trust me now, see if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour a blessing out upon you that you cannot contain. Joe decided to tithe. He couldn't believe what happened next. Within one hour after I gave my first tithe, I had a $3,300 oh. debt reversed. One hour. I tithed, an hour later, I didn't know $3,300. 24 hours later, somebody owed me $3,000. They paid me, and I didn't ever think I was going to get that money. I'm <laughs> thinking, wait a minute, guess what? I see the principle. At the time, Joe was a consultant for the Department of Energy. With every check he received, he continued to tithe. He also began giving to CBN. I was watching the 700 Club one day, and they were talking about clean water for people all over the world. And I'm thinking, man, I'll tell you what, that is so cool. Because I'm a big water guy. I mean, I like clean water. I know that there's a limited amount of water on this planet. And I said, I'm gonna start giving to the wells and cisterns program. Even when finances were tight, okay. they remained faithful in their giving. I realized through the 700 Club that the money that I was giving them, God's money, they were doing God's work with. And I didn't want that to stop because they were providing water for people, and then those people were coming to Christ. As he gave, Joe began asking God for direction about his next business. Then, while working in his RV, he had an idea to change the fluorescent lights to LED lighting. So, I'm still praying. God, please give me a witty invention. God says to me, I gave you something already. Like, really, like, what else do you want me to do? Later, Joe took the RV in for maintenance. The parts manager noticed his light invention. He walks in my rig to ride it up. He looks up, he says, where'd you get that? I said, well, I made it. He says, is it patented? I said, it's pending. He says, I want 250 of them. And I'm thinking, wow, yay God, this is pretty cool. Joe realized God had given him the invention he'd been praying for. From that sale, Joe created Cabin Bright. I started that company with that one product now we have over 150 products. We sell to dealers and distributors all over the country, and God gave me that idea. Today, Joe's business is thriving, and the couple is giving to CBN at the Founders Club level. And they say it's through faithful giving that blessings flow. If he's done it before, he'll do it again. He's faithful. I am completely and totally blessed by the grace of God and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When you're faithful to God, He's gonna be faithful to you and your soul's gonna prosper. And that's 
the feeling that no one can take away from me. And he won't take it away from you. When you're faithful to him, he will be faithful to you. And here's something that, that Joe put into practice. I call it God's phone number. It's Jeremiah 33.3. Me memorize this one because it'll come in handy. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Well, here he is, he's praying, and he's saying, Lord, I, I need a witty invention. So he's calling to God, and God answers him. And he's, God's actually showing him great and mighty things, but Joe doesn't get it at first. Uh, here's an idea how to bring a light fixture into an RV. You know, who, who could imagine that God would be interested in that kind of thing? So Joe keeps praying, God keeps answering and says, well, I've already shown it to you. Here it is. You already have it. And then he gets an initial order, turns into a wonderful business. What a wonderful thing. God wants to help people. All we have to do is call to him. He will answer us. And then we need to live life his way to say, I'm putting you first. I'm putting you first in everything in my life. I'm putting you first in my finances. When you have all of that working together, then you know God is with you and he is behind you and he will see you through anything. Well, Chad and Kathleen had $30 in their bank account and they also had a one-year-old baby to feed. Their financial woes got so bad, they worried about losing their home. Well, that's when Chad decided to pray, and what happened next changed his family's future. Chad and Kathleen Parrott became owners of a residential concrete business. But within a year, Chad knew they had to shut it down. It was a decision he didn't take lightly, especially since they now had a one-year-old daughter. How can I look at my wife and tell her that you know we're, we're broke and the business is, is going under? I, I don't know what we're going to do. And I just thought, oh my goodness, like we have $30 in the bank account and we don't even have enough money to buy that formula. It was really scary because I just thought, is this going to get worse, you know, and <laughs> are we going to have to, are we going to lose our house? Chad went on unemployment. Then one day as he was praying, he heard from God. I felt God start to put on my heart that, you know, why don't you fast? Chad started a 21-day fast. About a week later, Chad believed God was urging him to take a step of faith with their finances. I felt God was I was drinking my coffee you know, one morning through my devotionals. I, you know, I want you to start paying your tithe. And I knew he was here, you know, hearing from God and that God had really impressed that on him. Um, and so I'm like, okay. The couple tithed off the last payment they had received from their concrete business and started giving to CBN. Chad and Kathleen then decided to open a new concrete business, this time making sure to give 10% back to God. I had a hope that I hadn't had for a long time, and it was a genuine, genuine hope that I, I knew that I was tapping into the right resource. They created a website, and soon the phone started ringing. In the first year, the company's gross income went from $500,000 to $750,000. Five years later, it had grown to $900,000. Their individual income increased by 260% from what they had been making before they tithed. 100% believe that by us, you know, committing to pay our tithe and trusting God, that that's why our business has been successful. I found through um, tithing, through anything, that when you do it God's way, man, it is just, it is amazing. When you do it God's way, it is amazing. And here's an amazing promise from Malachi chapter 3. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house and test me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Chad walked that out. He said, I'm going to do it God's way when he did. You saw the results, an incredible increase for them because they had the confidence going forward knowing that they were doing it God's way and they were gaining God's help. I've got some wonderful news. Some CBN donors from California want to challenge others to give. And so till the end of the hour, they will match your giving dollar for dollar 61.
thousand dollars. And let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this. We ask for the blessing that comes from you, 30, 60, 100 fold. Open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that people cannot contain. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 61,000 is the challenge amount. What are we asking you to do? Well, we're asking you to join the 700 Club. How much is that? Well, it's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some of you can join at a higher level. We have 700 Club Gold at $40 a month. We also have 1,000 Club. That's $1,000 a year. That breaks out to $84 a month. At whatever level, call us now, 1-800-700-7000. For the next 48 minutes and 11 seconds, your giving will be automatically matched, $61,000. So call us now. Terry? Well, I'm excited to tell you that when you become a 700 Club partner, we're going to thank you by sending you Pat Robertson's latest DVD. It's called The I Wills of God. And in this, you're going to learn about the promises God has for your life. And you'll see stories of people who have put those promises into action. Her chest stopped moving and her face turned blue, and then I realized, wow, look, she's really dying here. And there was three alligators over my right shoulder, and there was three more. I just knew that this trip to the hospital might be, I might have to say goodbye. And the Lord speaks to me. She's going to be stronger than she's ever been before. You shall not fear. God is God Almighty. He created all the heavens and the earth. CBN presents Pat Robertson's newest teaching, The I Wills of God, your path to overcoming fear and anxiety and see amazing stories of God's promises in action. I was able to tell people that God saved my life. Break free from stress and despair. Call 1-800-700-7000 or visit CBN.com to become a CBN partner and get your DVD copy of The I Wills of God, your path to overcoming fear and anxiety. The I Wills of God, a powerful teaching on God's promises for you and some stories that are so amazing. They will build your faith. This is our gift to you when you join the 700 Club at any level right now. So please give us a call. We've got this challenge going. That means when you call, no matter what you pledge, dollar for dollar, it will be matched. And so we thank you for calling in advance. 1-800-700-7000. Gordon? Well, as newlywed school teachers, Shane and Heather Kelly worked hard. They also played hard, spending all the money they earned and then some. Soon the couple was barely making it from paycheck to paycheck, and before long, they were carrying $20,000 in credit card debt. Shane and Heather Kelly never argued about money. When they married, they had the same motto, spend all the money you earn. I think I was feeling tired because I never had anything growing up, you know what I mean? We always struggled growing up, so once I seen a little bit of money coming in, like, yeah, I'm going to spend it. We felt like we were at that time in our life where we were working and we deserved it. Shane and Heather had steady incomes as teachers, but it wasn't long before they were using credit cards to spend money they didn't have. Foolish spending, going out to eat a lot, um, buying new clothes, new shoes felt like you know, we have that money, we have cards, we're good. We were, we accumulated some debt. You know, we we're living, I believe, uh, out of our means. Before long, the couple had $20,000 in credit card debt and were having a hard time paying their monthly bills. We were struggling pretty good living from check to check and we can't even afford to get back and forth to work. During this difficult time, the 700 Club caught Heather's attention. So I sat down and I was so enthralled, I recorded it and I just kept watching. As Heather learned more about the work of CBN, she wanted to become part of it. And so I prayed and I said, God, you know how I feel about giving my money away. I feel like this is the real deal. And so I wrote a check for $45 and I asked God, you know, bless this, let me know that this is the right thing. When Shane heard that Heather had written a check to CBN, he did not share her enthusiasm. Now they were in conflict over money. I was like, well, what do you mean? What's this tithing? Why are you going to give? I was angry at the time, for sure, and I, I just could not understand why she was wanting to give money when we didn't have money to give. What happened next shocked both Shane and Heather. And the very next day, she received a check for $45, the same exact amount that she went and sent in. So I was like, you know, this is amazing. It blew my mind. Still, Shane wasn't convinced to tithe on a regular basis. She was wanting to tithe and give money that I didn't think we had. He said, well, that's fine. If that's what you want to do, then take it out of your part of your money. So Heather began to tithe faithfully on her salary. 
Six months later, both Shane and Heather received raises at work. So Heather increased her giving, and during this time, the couple began to pray and study the Bible together. In uh, Malachi, he was talking about just, uh, God was just test me and watch the floodgates open up. And in Exodus, you know, give your first fruits. Well, that's when I was started to really kind of understand about this tithing process, and that's when we became as one and became, you know, together as one tithers. So it was joyful for me to see him come on board and see how God's worked in his life. A few months later, Jane was offered a higher paying job in another school district, a job he had been seeking for three years. When I started to give, you know, and become a cheerful giver, that's when, you know, things started changing in my life. And it's just wild the timing was how God works. I look forward to giving now just because I, I just see how our money's working through the 700 Club. You know, we see the kids with cleft pallets, we see the homes that have been torn apart and they're rebuilding and, and with the helping the home front. That's when I was like, man, I want to give to this. Today, the Kellys have had several pay increases in the last few years. They're almost debt free, and now they're saving for the future. I promise you, God is faithful on this. If just test Him and try Him, like the Bible says, and, and see what He does for you and how the floodgates open. I just would encourage people to tithe and, you know, take that leap of faith and see how God can work in your life and in your family's life. Try it and see what will happen to you. It's the only thing we ever get to test God in is our tithes and offerings. When, we, when, we, when He says, prove me now in this, test me now in this, He means it. Now, here's something else to consider. This is from 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. You must each make up your own mind as to how much you should give, for God loves the person who gives cheerfully, and God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. For Shane and Heather, they became generous. You saw the result, uh, and it will happen to you. God watches over His Word to perform it. Test Him and see and see what he will do for you. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Now, when you call, make sure you ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. The bank is doing all the work, and we can send as our gift to you. Power for Life, monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call or go to cbn.com slash give. When you give monthly on the internet, you'll automatically sign up for Pledge Express. Let's go over to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, the Bible tells us that God speaks to us in a number of ways. Sometimes it's that still small voice. Sometimes it's in a dream. Sometimes we just feel it in our hearts. But how do we get God to speak to us in the first place? Pat Robertson shares the answer in his new DVD, The I Wills of God. When they call on me, I will answer them. How do we hear from God? I mean, to, to hear from God, is that a gift? Scott, it's normal Christianity. That, that's what, uh, you know, you will hear a voice in your ear saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. The Bible says, let the peace of God be the umpire in your heart. Hmm. Uh, you know, it's like the umpire says, that's a ball, that's a strike, you're out, and so forth. Right. Well, the peace lifts. Uh, you're, you're walking out of the way. That's for all of us. God loves you, and He wants to give you His peace, His perfect peace that the world just can't give. They don't have it to give, but Jesus can give it to you. We want you to have it. It's our gift to you with the I wills of God, God's promises to those who love Him. This is our gift when you call right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Toll-free number on your screen, 1-800-700-7000 is the number to call, or you can log on to CBN.com. That's a great way to give. What we're asking you to do today is go to your phones and say, I want, I want to help in what God is doing all over the world, hurting people around the world and here at home, and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. If that sounds like you, go to your phones right now. If you're already doing that, if you're already a CBN partner at $20 a month, 65 cents a day, we just want to say thank you. You are making a big difference. But if you'd like to do more, let's go up to our gold level. That's just $40 a month. And when you do that, we're going to bless you back with three DVDs, one for you and two to give away. If you can go higher, let's take it up to Thousand Club, $84 a month or higher. We'll get you five of this. Pat's new teaching, the I wills of God. This is our gift to you when you call right now. Terry? Well, Mr. Chow would do anything for his son, Ray, 
And so when Ray was born with a cleft lip and palate, Mr. Chow worked long hours to pay for surgery. And yet, he could never make enough to afford the operation. And time was running out. When Mr. Chow's second son was born, he couldn't even hold him. I couldn't stop thinking about his face and wondering what his future would be like. I didn't know what to do. Ray was born with a cleft lip and palate. I wanted him to have a better life than what I could give him. I thought maybe he'd be better off with someone else who could afford surgery. I told my wife, and she asked me to please just hold Ray. So after three days, I held him for the first time. Ray touched my husband's face with his little hand, and my husband wept. The connection was so strong that Mr. Chow vowed never to give up on Ray. He worked long hours to raise money for surgery. Meanwhile, Ray was always in danger. Because of the gap in his lip, he was more likely to get dirt and bacteria in his mouth, so his immunity was bad. Once he got pneumonia, and several times he almost choked to death. His brother tried to feed him fruit, and it got stuck. He couldn't breathe. He fell into a coma. His brother started to cry and said, I'm sorry, Ray. I just wanted to share. The couple got the food out, but was always worried about what would happen next. When I carried him to the market, kids would shout, I see an ugly monster. One man said, why do you bring him out? Don't you worry about scaring people? So I start covering his mouth with a fail. I just hoped that someone would help him. Then some healthcare workers told the Chows about CBN and how we provide cleft lip and palate surgeries for poor children like Ray. Soon, Ray's lip was completely fixed. Now my baby has hope. Ray can finally eat all by himself and he doesn't choke. I'm so thankful for CBN. We can really feel your love. Without you, my son would have lived in pain and fear his whole life. Thank you for helping him. It's like a dream come true. Now, Ray's mouth is good. Because of your love, my son can have a normal life and my family can be happy. Ray's life would have been anything but normal without your help. He would never have been able to speak clearly. Going to school would have been a problem. Getting married, having a job as an adult, it all would have been almost impossible for him. 700 Club members, you made a huge difference in this little boy's life, and you showed the love of Christ to him, to his family, and all who watched from the sidelines and were amazed. We say thank you. This is just one of the things you've done around the world. There are thousands of lives being touched every Every day by you. Join the 700 Club now. 65 cents a day, $20 a month makes you a 700 Club member. Maybe you're already there. Would you consider going up to 700 Club Gold with a gift of $40 a month? If you're at the gold level, jump up to the 1,000 Club at $84 a month. 2,500 Club members join us at $209 a month. Founders at $417 a month. And then we have Chairman Circle, people who give gifts of $10,000 or more a year. Ask God what he'd have you do, and then call, knowing that the moment you call that toll-free number, 1-800-700-7000, you are making a difference. Gordon? Well, Jesse and Melissa are a military family who are fighting a losing battle against their student loan debts. And when their van broke down, they faced the prospect of having even more expenses until they got a visit from helping the home front. Right outside Fort Bragg, North Carolina, you'll find E-4 Army soldier Jesse spending time with his wife, Melissa, and their four children. Melissa is grateful that Jesse makes family time a priority. I'm really proud of him, and I feel like he provides for our family, and he's serving our country, and so he's happy, and I'm happy. Jesse feels Melissa's job taking care of the kids is just as critical. I almost feel like she has a harder job, to be honest with you. Just having the, the mental strength like she does is incredible. When they got married, Melissa had finished college and intended to work to add to the family income. Their priorities changed as their family grew to six, and Melissa started homeschooling instead of pursuing a career. Through the years, Jesse's income alone couldn't keep up. 
Eventually, they were way behind on Melissa's student loan payments. It feels like a heavy burden. It would take forever to pay it off, basically. It just got to the point where it just, you either have to eat or like pay off student loans. To add to their money problems, they learned their family van required costly repairs. At the same time, they needed to buy beds for the twins, who'd outgrown their toddler beds. They'd have to put the expenses on a credit card. Through it all, the couple trusted that God would take care of them. God has done so many miracles in my life that there's no way that some way this isn't going to work out. Their situation took a huge turn when their church, Riverhouse, contacted CBN's Helping the Homefront. Pastor Stacy Long invited the couple over to tell them that CBN was going to pay for the van repairs and buy beds for the twins. <laughs> you think the kids the will girls. be excited? Yeah, yeah no. they'll be excited. And there was another surprise. Another thing that Helping the Homefront <laughs> wants to do is they're going to pay off your student loan so it goes away. <laughs> what do you guys think about that That's one? That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. I think I'm a little bit in shock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, I don't know what to think. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but I'm really thankful. It's absolutely amazing. CBN arranged to fix the van and then took them shopping to pick out beds for the twins. Now that Melissa's student loans are paid in full, the family can finally get ahead. I've been praying for a long time that somehow, some way that God would come through for us and, and He has today with CBN. Thank you. You're part of that when you're a member of the 700 Club. You're part of helping that wonderful family. Not a handout, but a hand up to say, here, we want you to have a hope. We want you to have a future because that's what God wants. If you want to be a part of it, call us. 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. When you call, make sure you ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. The bank is doing all the work, and we can send as our gift to you. Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call or just go to cbn.com slash give. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, how is this for a New Year's resolution? 2019 will be the year I am free from fear and anxiety. If that sounds good to you, get this, the I wills of God, and you'll see how the promises of God can revolutionize your life. The pediatric ER doctor, she says, we're losing her and I think she's, she's going to pass. I'm crying out to God, but my faith just vanished at that point. I didn't have any hope. I didn't see a way out. We need to take our authority in the Lord. And when we do, we get rid of fear. The I Wills of God, the latest teaching from Pat Robertson, available now. Learn how to take authority over fear. That will be the best thing you can do for yourself, not just this year, but for the rest of your life. If you want to make that happen, we want to help you with Pat's new teaching, The I Wills of God. Discover how you can overcome fear and make 2019 and beyond the best years of your life. We want you to have this. Go to your phones right now and just say yes. I want to join the 700 Club. The toll-free number is on your screen, 1-800-700-7000. That's an easy number to remember, or you can log on to CBN.com. What we're, we're asking you to do is say, I want to partner with God to help hurting people all over the world and here at home, like you just saw that amazing story of helping those who are on the, it's called helping the home front, our military folks. I just love those stories. They are so grateful when we give them just a little bit of help. If that's something that touches your heart, please don't delay go to your phones right now or maybe you want to dig clean water wells you can do that when you partner with CBN there's so much that you can do uh, just with 65 cents a day $20 a month now uh, I want to say thank you if you're already there a lot of you are already helping us at $20 a month but it's a brand new year I want to challenge you right now to go to your phones and say I want to go higher I want to go up to our gold level $40 a month when you do that we're gonna bless you back with three DVDs one for you and two to give away if you can go higher let's take it up to thousand club 84 dollars a month or higher we're really gonna bless you we're gonna give you five DVDs one for you and four to give away I'm sure you can think of four people right now that could really use this the I wills of God these are the promises found in Psalm 91 and if God makes a promise you can take it to the bank it's as good as gold we want you to have this and you can get it right now just go to your phones Gordon what well, a time when Jerry Fleming was thinking about retiring 
He was offered a job that doubled his salary. A few years later, the same thing happened again. Now, Jerry says this all began the day he listened to his wife and started to get. Jerry and Glenda Fleming are enjoying their retirement years in East Texas. But years ago, things got tough when their fuel distribution company went bankrupt. Several lean years followed. We had two girls in a Christian college, had no money at all, and yet we were living on credit cards and ran up thousands of dollars in credit cards. It was just trusting the Lord that he would provide the next step. Jerry started his career as an oil field engineer, then worked as a church education minister and later a pastor. Over the years, the Flemings chipped away at their debt until it was gone. Later, Glenda became an avid viewer of the 700 Club and decided she wanted to support CBN as well. Jerry got home that day and I said, I think we need to start giving to 700 Club. I had just watched all they do for people and it was just amazing. She convinced me and all she had to say is, let's give, and I said, that's fine. The Flemings had planned to retire in 2007 until Jerry was offered a job teaching oil field safety classes for twice his previous salary. In a few years, another company hired him and his income doubled again. That allowed the Flemings to give even more. I don't think I have ever given anything to get something back. I've really thought about that. But as God blessed me, then I would bless others. The Flemings continued blessing others through CBN and are now members of the Founders Club. They cite a number of reasons. I love the helping the home front. Jerry was in the Army, so I just think it's so neat that we help people who have served our country. I appreciate so many aspects of the 700 Club. When we see wells being dug, when we see uh, people being given things to uh, maybe start a little business or something like that. Orphans Promise, oh, I just think they do it right. <laughs> they help people who can't afford to raise their children, but we help them to keep their children rather than having to put them in orphanages. And so we just found that as God blessed us and we gave, then for some reason, he would just give us more. If he blesses you, then you're going to want to bless others. All right, I've got some great news. Some partners from Texas want to add 39,000 to this calendar. That takes us up to 100,000, and let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing for the partners who made it possible to increase this challenge, and we ask for blessing for those who are watching right now. Encourage them, speak to them, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. 100,000 is the challenge amount, and we get the red number up. We've got 52,000 to go with 25 minutes and 47 seconds. Call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, Hurricane Michael was one of the most powerful storms to hit the United States, and Florida resident Steve Wilkerson saw its full force. The high winds toppled trees right onto his home. He thought it was going to cost thousands to clean up, but he didn't spend a cent thanks to Operation Blessing. Steve Wilkerson of Linhaven, Florida survived the storm, but four big pine trees fell on his home. A roaring sound outside, the wind, things flying horizontally, four big crashing sounds when the trees hit the house. All of us were surprisingly calm. Maybe we were just so scared that it was to the max and we couldn't feel it anymore. It was just normal to be scared. But the house survived. Steve and his family are grateful to be alive, but recovery has been a challenge. There's no power, no water, no uh, telephones, no uh, internet. I bet it would be fifteen to twenty thousand dollars to move every tree out of my yard because I had a lot of big trees. Steve had no idea what would happen next. Operation Blessing volunteers rolled up with chainsaws and heavy moving equipment. And when y'all drove up, to be honest, I thought it was just another crew coming up, you know, well, $2,000 a tree, we'll remove them all. And then in comes these smiling faces with God's love on, in their heart and their mind. And I'm totally stunned and, and moved. You know, it was, it's hard to keep from crying. And I'm a, I mean, I like to think I'm a pretty tough old guy, but, you know, sometimes tears are appropriate. 
Drew Anthony drove from Georgia to be part of Operation Blessings Disaster Relief Volunteer Force. When you see that joy, when you see that hope, uh, you know, someone that's gone through so much, uh, obviously, and you're able to, uh, to just be that love and that arm around their shoulders, um, I mean, it's, uh, there's nothing like it. You, you walk away with a smile on your face because you're just excited to help out. Members of Lighthouse Church also came out to help. We appreciate you guys for coming in and, and just kind of being a part of our church because we couldn't do all this without you guys either. So it's a great partnership with everyone. Appreciate uh, CBN and, and Operation Blessing. It's just, it's just an awesome network. So they're on top of it. You guys have some good people. If you ever, ever doubt God's love, survive something like this and you will see it all around you. You know, the last few years have brought a number of very significant natural disasters right here at home. And I'm happy to say that Operation Blessing has been there every time. In some instances, they're still there helping people. We say thank you. You make that possible. So you're not just helping people when you join the 700 Club all around the world. You're helping them right here in the United States as well. They're your neighbors. And who knows, the next time it could be you and I that need help. But when those trucks pull in, when people get out with smiles on their Operation Blessing shirts, things begin to change. We say thank you for making that a possibility. Listen, when you call now and join the 700 Club, because I know you want to do all of these things and be a part of this, will you also do it using Pledge Express? That's what we call electronic monthly giving. It means your bank does all the work for you. You don't have to have stamps, envelopes, don't have to remember anything, but it does save us some administrative costs so we can put even more of your gift right into the lives of people like Steve, the person you just saw in that, that scenario. Well, we want to send you Power for Life teaching as our way of saying thank you for using Pledge Express. So call now, 1-800-700-7000. Say, I want to join the 700 Club. Tell us what club level you'd like to join at and say, I'd like to do it using Pledge Express. Gordon? Do it now. Be part of it. There's a $100,000 challenge. That red number is 40000 That's the amount left to match. So you're giving if you call now, 1-800-700-7000. Your give giving will be automatically matched. Do it now, one 800 707,000. Well, last summer, Palestinian militants unleashed a new weapon in their war against Israel. And Israelis who live near the border took the brunt of the damage. As fires were spreading throughout the area, CBN gave the victims much needed supplies to fight the threat and protect their families. Israeli communities near Gaza face a new threat, fire kites and balloons. Terrorists have used the devices to burn more than 10,000 acres of land. We raise our children to be good people and to love their land. And then they see that the other side doesn't care about the land and they want to burn it. Harel is head security coordinator for his kibbutz, and he's the first line of defense in this latest fight. Over the years, we have learned how to deal with the bombs and the attack tunnels. But these fire balloons are a disaster because the wind carries the fire so fast. Harel didn't have the proper equipment to fight fires. He only wore everyday clothes and shoes to battle the blazes. That left his wife Karen and their three children constantly worried for his safety. When you have kids, you have to smile and say, everything's gonna be okay. But if you don't really believe it, then they recognize it and you can just feel the level of anxiety uh, rising up in the house. We were exposed to a lot of smoke and we had to have oxygen treatment. Other security coordinators were burned as direct consequence of not having proper equipment. So CBN Israel took action to help. We bought more than two dozen firefighting equipment kits for Harel and others at nearby kibbutz. The kits include custom firefighting suits, boots, gloves, respirators, goggles, hats, and blankets. Now we are better equipped to fight these fires and defend our homes and communities. To know that he's safe, and I know that his body is protected, it's really nice and calming for me. Thanks to CBN Israel, Harel is able to stay safe while protecting his land and family. I want this land and nature to be around for my children to enjoy. With your help, I believe we can do this. From the bottom of my heart, we are so grateful and I will never forget it. Thank you. <laughs> 
you're a member of the 700 Club, that thank you from Israel goes to you because you're part of CBN Israel. You're part of helping people and whether they're survivors of the Holocaust or when terrorists strike, we want to help those who have been hurt. You're a part of all of it when you join the 700 Club. So if that's you, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. We've got just a few minutes, 18 minutes, 41 seconds left, a $100,000 challenge, 33,000 left to go. So be a part of it. How much is it to be a member of the 700 Club? Well, it's $20 a month. That's 65 cents a day. Some of you can join at a higher level. We have 700 Club Gold for you at $40 a month. 1,000 Club, $1,000 a year. That breaks out to $84 a month. We also have 2,500 Club, which is 2,500 a year. Founder, $5,000 a year. And then Chairman Circle, 10,000 or more a year. At whatever level, call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, in Pat Robertson's new DVD, you'll see stories of people who kept their cool in the scariest of circumstances, like Mike and Billy, who were once in a fight to stay alive in a swamp filled with gators. We were running about 38 miles an hour the last time I looked, and then, bam, we'd flipped the boat. He said, look over your left shoulder, and there was three alligators forming a semicircle. There was tons of them on the bank, and they were all coming in the water. I was doing some heavy, heavy, heavy praying while I was in that water. The I Wills of God, the latest teaching from Pat Robertson, available now. I don't care who you are. I'd be doing some heavy, heavy, heavy praying too. I know you would as well. But guess what? God heard their cries for help. He rescued them. God is faithful, even in the midst of an alligator swamp. Hopefully you're not in anywhere near an alligator swamp right now. But if you're going through something, I just want to remind you, God loves you and he is faithful. We want to remind you too with this, Pat's new teaching, The I Wills of God, your path to peace and security in 2019. It's yours when you give us a call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is it? Hey, glad you asked. Just 65 cents a day, $20 a month is all it takes to become CBN partner and to help hurting people all over the world and, and right here at home. Now, many of you are already there at $20 a month, and we want to say thank you. You are making a huge difference. If you'd like to do more, a lot of us can and a lot of us would. Let's take it up to our gold level, $40 a month. If you do that, we want to bless you back with three DVDs, one for you, two to give away if you can go higher. Let's take it up to 1,000 Club, $84 a month or higher. We're going to give you five DVDs. Uh, the to toll-free number is right there on your screen, 1-800-700-7000. It's easy to remember. Please go to your phones right now and say yes. Terry. Well, I want you to meet someone who's called that toll-free number from Bolingbrook, Illinois. Candace called and said, I want to be a founder, $5,004. Thank you. Well, a six years old Gaddy had to take care of her two younger siblings, and she was often asked to look for food for them. Well, sometimes the only place that Gaddy could find a bite to eat was in her neighbor's garbage. Ever since she was six years old, Gaddy has taken care of her little brother and sister while their mom searched for work. I was ashamed because I put my children at risk. In addition to the danger of staying at home alone, Gaddy says they've also struggled to have enough to eat. My father left us. We have gone hungry many times. The younger kids begged me for food. Sometimes I would find a plastic bag in the neighbor's garbage. I brought it home and we ate. That's when Jacqueline heard about a program near her home in Peru, sponsored by CBN's Orphan's Promise. Now, for the first time since their father left, the children have plenty to eat. Before, I couldn't give them a simple breakfast. Here, they receive breakfast and lunch. And now that Jacqueline has found a steady job, the Orphan's Promise Center provides free childcare, so the kids have a safe place to play, learn, and watch episodes of CBN's Superbook. I raised my hand to receive Jesus. I prayed and asked him to change my life. I bless you with all my heart. 
Oh, lives are being so changed at that spot in Peru. Children's lives, the lives of their families. We say thank you, 700 Club members. You are making a huge difference. Listen, call now while we're in this challenge because time is running out. When you call, every dollar you give will be matched dollar for dollar. If you use Pledge Express, that means even more of what you're giving will go right into the lives of people like Gaddy and make a huge, huge difference. So 1-800-700-7000. Call now. Say, I want to join the 700 Club. Tell us what level and then say I'd like to do it using Pledge Express. We will begin to get your Power for Life teachings out starting this month. Gordon? Well, Al and Mary love spoiling each one of their seven grandchildren. They enjoy having fun with them and teaching them about the Bible. And they do both at the same time through CBN's Superbook. Al and Mary Chick's seven grandchildren are the joy of their lives. Being Papa Al is a pretty cool thing because you get all the fun stuff of being a dad and none of the hassles. And as much as the couple enjoys treating the kids to fun and games, they're even more interested in laying a foundation of faith for them. One way they do that is through CBN's Superbook. It's teaching them the truth, teaching them the Bible, and um, giving them a direction. The kids are very visual. They, they like cartoons and they like stories like that. So that's the way to reach them. And I just feel good about reaching them with a story content that's gonna give them you know, questions and knowledge about the Lord. And because they don't always get that in their day-to-day -day lives. Now, their grands can't get enough of Superbook. What's going on? I always ask, can we watch Superbook? Because I, I love it. My favorite Superbook is Daniel and the Lion's Den. I like seeing Chris enjoy going into the Bible because I'm so excited to see them talk about Jesus. Yes! Alan and Mary say their favorite part is seeing their grandchildren learn about Jesus. A good part of their spiritual upbringing and knowledge of the Lord and coming to the Lord has been through Superbook. When we take them to church, like on the way home, that we'll say, what did you learn in church today? Oh, we learned the same story that we, we saw in the Superbook. So there's that correlation in the, the memory that, that is being instilled in their little brains, which is very cool. As CBN partners, the couple knows their gifts are making this same opportunity available to children all over the world. One of the best things about Superbook is the money that we contribute toward that program is allowing other kids who don't have a Papa Al to be able to see all these great stories in whatever their native language is. And I think little kids deserve a chance to, for, a, for a decent you know, childhood. So anything we can do to, to help that, I really am all behind. You can make the stories of the Bible fun and exciting. Children across the world are hearing these wonderful stories. They're seeing them in action, and we've got a broadcast map for you, all the different places, all the different languages. We're now in over 40 languages around the world, all made possible because people like you cared enough to give for the translation costs, the distribution costs, the production costs of Superbook. If that's you, be a part of it. 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to help children understand the Bible. I want them to know the stories of the Bible. You're part of all of it when you join the 700 Club. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Elizabeth thought her mom had a bad case of heartburn. When she took her to the hospital, she found out she was wrong. Her mom was having a heart attack, but Elizabeth didn't panic. Instead, she held on to a promise from God. I looked at the nurse and I mouthed, heart attack, and she nodded and I went, whoa. She's having a heart attack and I don't know if she's gonna live. A lot of fear goes through you. My faith vanished. My faith was a little rattled. I knew I was going. Set your love upon the Lord. You shall not fear. In Christ, I am free from the fear. 
so easy to give in to fear, but this year, just say no to fear and anxiety and make 2019 and beyond the best years of your life. We want to help you do that with this. Pat's new teaching, The I Wills of God. Discover how you can overcome fear. I'm telling you, this will be the best thing you ever do for yourself. We want you to have this. How do you get it? Just go to your phones right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. $20 a month, 65 cents a day. That's all it takes to become a CBM partner and to help so many people around the world and right here at home. If you're already doing that, thank you. You're making a big difference. But I'd like to challenge you. Hey, it's a brand new year. Let's all, we can all do more. Let's take it up to our gold level, $40 a month. If you can do that, we want to bless you back with three DVDs, one for you and two to give away. We have many levels here. If you can take it up to Thousand Club, $84 a month or higher, we're going to bless you with five of Pat's new teaching, The I Wills of God. You will absolutely love this. It's yours when you call right now. We're in the middle of a $100,000 challenge with eight minutes left on the clock, eight minutes, 50 seconds. Every dollar that you pledge right now will be doubled, matched dollar for dollar. Your gift will go twice as far. Just a reminder, you cannot outgive God. I'm telling you, it's such a fun adventure when you start giving to God because he just keeps blessing you. And you're like, where did this come from? If you want to have that adventure, I'm telling you, you will not be sorry. Right, Terry? Absolutely, Wendy. Well, Olivia had a backbreaking job, lugging two heavy buckets of water for two miles, not once, but twice a day. That's a tall order for anyone, let alone a 65-year-old widow with bad knees. 65-year-old Olivia's heart pounds and her shoulders ache as she carries two buckets of water back to her home from a distant well. The two-mile round-trip journey can take hours to complete. I'm short of breath and my chest gets tight when I carry them. I stop five or six times along the way to rest. The truth is I'm exhausted, but I do it because there's no one to help me. Olivia is a widow who now cares for her elderly mother. In addition to household chores and carrying water, Olivia works outside the home at a farm to earn some money. At the end of the day, she heads back to the well for two more buckets of water. One day when I was getting water, I tripped and fell. I injured both of my knees. My knees hurt so badly that I couldn't work. The next day, she couldn't collect any water, and they ran out. I was thirsty, but I felt really sorry for my mom. I went to a neighbor to ask for a glass of water for her. I didn't want her to die of thirst. So CBN's Operation Blessing came to the village and drilled them a well. Now there's plenty of clean drinking water for Olivia and her mom and everyone else who lives there. Now I don't get chest pains from carrying water long distances. I am so grateful. You know, I can't even imagine what people like Olivia have to do every day just to get a glass of water that's decent. And most of the time, the water they collect is not. When you allow us to go into these places and drill wells and create water cisterns, it makes life completely different. We say thank you, 700 Club members. We take so much for granted here as Americans, don't we? But the issue is, are we willing to do something about people who don't have the blessings we have? You can do it today. You can join the 700 Club. Our number is toll free. It's 1-800-700-7000. Call now. Make a difference. Gordon? Well, leaves boiled in water. Some days, that's all Marta and her three children had to eat. Other days, they had nothing. Until people like you gave Marta a hand up for the first time in her life. Isaiah knew how hard it was for his mom to provide food for the family. So he went searching near his home for wild plants and roots to cook. I found something called chipiling. It is a little like a spinach that adds some flavor to the boiled water. He collects the plants and I make the broth. But this flavored broth provided only a few calories. Marta and the children were starving. Some days, when I can't find work, I say, I am sorry, children. Today we're not going to be able to eat. Tomorrow I will see what I can do. Marta is a single mom raising three children. Her husband abandoned them four years ago. We are all struggling to survive. So Operation Blessing met with Marta and trained her to run a business. Then we delivered a large amount of flour, eggs, and other staples to sell right from her home. 
Even when I had them in my hands, I couldn't believe it because I have never received help like this, never. Business has been brisk over the past year, and Marta earns $250 a month in profits, plenty to support her family and provide enough for them to eat. Having a place to sleep and having something to eat every day is the best thing that ever happened to us. That's how thanks Birch and Blessing for helping our family. Be a part of it. Be a part of everything we're doing around the world. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day, and I've got some great news from Morristown, Tennessee. Here's a 1,000 Club member saying, I want to go to 2,500. And from Kokomo, Indiana, another 1,000 Club member lifting to 2,500, 2,500. We're going over the top on a $100,000 challenge, three minutes, 44 seconds. Call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? All right, well, let me ask you, what keeps you up at night and what can you do to break free of worry? That's exactly what Pat talks about with Scott Ross in this segment on the ultimate fear from his new DVD, The I Wills of God. Take a look. Pat, there are many, many Christians, I know some, who struggle with fear and worry. How do, how do we get free from fear? The reason we're afraid, what is the ultimate fear? Well, the ultimate fear is death. And, you know, the Bible talks about those who through fear of death were subject to, to a lifetime of bondage. Once you are free from that, then you are free from fear. And the Lord came to set us free from death. He paid the price on the cross for the sins of mankind. He has loosed the chains and the bondage that have, have bound us which is the fear of death. That's the greatest fear we all have. Make fear and anxiety a thing of the past with this past new teaching, The I Wills of God. It's our gift to you, your path to greater faith. 1-800-700-7000. CBN.com is the, is the way to get a hold of us. Uh, you can have this. It's our gift to you when you call right now. Terry? Well, Kadimo developed a hernia when he was only a year old. It was so painful that he rarely ate. And after six years, he became so weak that his family was afraid he might die. Kadimo lives in a traditional Maasai village. When he turned one, he developed a hernia. For years, his family tried everything to help him, but nothing worked. He doesn't play like other children. He mostly just sits around and rarely eats. At times, he fainted because of the pain. His family took him to a local hospital where two surgeries were performed, but there was no improvement. After that, they tried to treat him on their own. All Kadimo's parents could do in the village was give him traditional medicine. That was just a tea made with herbs, roots, and tree bark. Sometimes it alleviated his pain a little bit, but obviously it didn't do anything to really treat his hernia. Kidimo was getting weaker every day. I lost all hope and thought he was going to die. Then the local hospital referred them to African Mission Healthcare, which is supported by CBN. We arranged and paid for Kadimo's surgery. Soon, he felt much better. Kadimo is a completely different child now. He plays and eats as much as he wants to. He would have died without your help. Now he will live and have a good life. I know that God's hand was in this. Thank you, CPN, for making his body whole again. Kadimo Smile says it all. We thank you, 700 Club members. You're amazing. Gordon? Be a part of it, whether it's surgeries in Africa, helping orphans, preaching the gospel through television, taking the stories of the Bible to the children of the world. It's all made possible because people like you care enough to give. If that's you, be a part of it. 1-800-700-7000. We're counting down to the final seconds on a $100,000 challenge, and we're going way over the top. We're going to count everything that's on the phone so you can still be a part of it. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Well, it's been glorious. We had a $100,000 challenge, and against that, you gave 119.
Here's a word from Deuteronomy chapter 28. All these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. R let blessings overtake you. Be obedient. Live a life of obedience and you'll see the blessing come. God bless you. We'll see you again.